You guys like my headband? Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, you guys asked and I deliver. So the only reason why you can't see my face today is because I am going to be giving you guys a full on step by step eyebrow tutorial for beginners. So let's just skip the chit chat and get right into it. So the first tool that you're going to need in order to do your eyebrows are eyebrow trimming tools or waxing or whatever you do to your eyebrows if you go and you get your eyebrows done then i advise you to go do that if you get them threaded or waxed but if you're an at-home person and you don't trust anyone really to do your eyebrows the tools that i like to use is my eyebrow razor and my eyebrow scissors also a spoolie just to kind of whisk the brows out to wherever you want them to be. So the first thing I do is kind of brush my brows into place. And then if I see any hairs that are out of tack or out of order or kind of long, I just go ahead and I trim those right off. So I don't need any eyebrow razoring or anything like that, so I'm just going to get right into drawing on the brows. So when it comes to drawing on your brows, there are two major products that you can use. You can use eyebrow pomade, which is, if you guys see my first video, you know I love this eyebrow pomade. Pomade is basically like a cream consistency, it's basically like a gel liner kind of and you use it with an angle brush to drill on your brows. So if you're a beginner beginner and you don't know what an angle brush is, here is an angle brush. So it's just this little tiny brush and I guess you can see why it's called an angle brush. It literally has an angle and this is what you would use with the eyebrow pomade. Your second choice to go ahead and draw your eyebrows on with is a eyebrow pencil. But for this video, I will be using the pomade because that is my everyday go to to draw on my eyebrows. So now the eyebrow pomade that I use comes like a lip gloss. So when I open it up, it has this little tip. Usually eyebrow pomades come in kind of a small round container. They don't come like this. So what I like to do with this eyebrow pomade is just take my angle brush and I'm going to take the pomade and I'm just going to tap my angle brush onto this. Now, you don't want your eyebrows to look big and bulky and black looking or very, very hard. So what I'm going to do with that product that I picked up, I'm just going to place that on the back of my hand. And this is what I'm going to draw my eyebrows on. I know you guys are probably thinking, oh my god, that is a little bit of product. That is all you need. You don't want your eyebrows to look big and bulky and black. <laughs> you don't want your eyebrows to just look big, period, okay? So, the first thing you're going to want to do with the product that is on your brush is draw a line going to the end of the eyebrow. And you want to start in the middle. You don't want to start at the beginning of your eyebrow because that is going to cause your eyebrows to look big and bulky. Here in this area is where we want to ombre the brow out. We don't want it to look as harsh as the ends of our brows or the middle of our brows. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to place it here in the middle of my eyebrow. And with one stroke, I'm going to just draw backwards. I'm going to keep going in a backwards motion. That's all you want to do is keep dragging that brush backwards. And as you guys can see, I got a little bit of pomade here. But that's only because it's kind of hard with looking in the camera and looking in the mirror. But don't worry because the step with concealer is going to clean that right up. So now that I've made that line, I'm going to go on the top. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. And just go in backwards motions. I'm going to go backwards. with nice light strokes. Here's a trick with all makeup brushes. The more you hold it towards the bristle, the more control you have. And the more you hold it towards the end of the brush, the less control you'll have with the brush. So when doing your eyebrows, you kind of want like, mm, I wouldn't say medium control. So you want to kind of place your hand in the middle of the brush. 
you don't want to place it too close to the bristles because you don't want harsh eyebrows and you don't want to place it at the end because you want some kind of control so that your eyebrows are nice and straight and neat so you want to place your hand in the middle of the brush so I'm just going to continue making those backward strokes So this is not my normal pace, I'm just doing it because this eyebrow tutorial is for beginners. So, usually I would just draw the line from the middle of my brow all the way to the end and just fill it in. So, now what I'm going to do is take that pomade again and I'm going to follow the end of my brows. Same way I did the middle of my brow, I'm going to start with the bottom and I'm just going to draw a line down. And I'm going to do the same thing with the top. Be sure to follow that curve. You want your natural arch. So again, they might look thick, but that's fine because we're going to clean it up with the concealer. So now, you don't want to pick up excess product. That little bit of product that's left on the brush, you're going to use that to fill in the middle of your brow and you're just gonna do the same way you're gonna do backwards motions and you're just gonna fill in your brow but when doing this since you're not drawing a line you just want short strokes you don't want to go in a straight line short nice strokes do not go all the way to the beginning yet just stay in the middle and stay at the end and fill that space in keep feeling that's recent so now with that same product that you have on the brush I know you guys might be thinking there's no product on the brush but since this is the beginning of the brow you do not want to pick up more product because that's gonna cause you to have that box effect what you want to do is ombre the brow out with the product that you already have on the brush and on the brow so again I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm just gonna ombre this out to the beginning of my brow I'm going to do the same thing on the top so you guys can see that there is a line forming but it's not as harsh as the end and the beginning of my brow so now with the middle of this here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in short strokes just like I did with the middle of the brow in the end of the brow but instead of following the brow I'm gonna go upward in little hair like strokes and that is gonna cause it to look like hair it's gonna give it that hair effect that you want in the beginning of your brow So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to fill in any gaps that I might have missed. Like I missed this part here. I'm just going to take a little slight bit of product and I'm going to fill that in right now. So now you just want to do little strokes again and you just want to kind of make the beginning of your brow fade into the middle of your brow little short strokes do not pick up any more product just keep doing that and you will see that they are going to just blend together nicely just keep blending keep blending short strokes So the good thing about having eyebrows is that you have two so I get to show you guys the same exact thing again for a second time which is good because this is a beginner's video. So again same thing like the last brow but I'm going to do this one a little bit faster. So I'm going to take my eyebrow pomade and again I'm going to start in the middle of my brow and I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go to the top of the brow and I'm going to go backwards again. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna go to the end of the brow and I'm gonna go downward, I'm gonna go to the top of the end of the brow and I'm gonna go downward. 
Now, I'm gonna use that same product on my brush and I'm going to fill in the middle of my brow with short strokes. It's just like, it's just like a motion if you're tweezing your brows or something. That's the kind of motion you wanna mimic. You wanna mimic a tweezing motion. So now that that's done, again, you're gonna use the little bit of product that's on the brush and you're going to start to fade out the beginning of your brow. Remember, start at the bottom, backwards motion. Go to the top, do the same thing. Go to the middle, go in an upward direction to mimic hair and fill that middle in. So now it's cleanup time. I have my Kat Von D concealer and I also have my Kat Von D foundation. Now a lot of people just use concealer but the only reason why I'm using my concealer and my foundation is because I'm going to be putting the concealer on the bottom and my foundation on top. The reasoning for this is because that highlight that people put around their eyebrows, you want that to only be at the bottom. The top should be matching the rest of your skin. So what I'm going to do now is take this little tiny concealer brush, it is so small, and I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on the back of it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trace out the outline of my eyebrow and all the little mistakes that I made, I'm just going to clean them up with concealer. So remember, towards the bristles, more control, towards the back of the brush, less control. When doing this, you want a little bit more control, so just try to scoop your hand up, especially for a beginner. So I'm just going to place this here at the beginning of my eyebrow and I am doing the shortest motion so that I will not have a crooked line. So I kind of messed that up a little bit and that's fine. I'm glad I did that to show you guys that not everyone is perfect with makeup. Even so-called makeup artists make mistakes. So that's okay. I'm just going to go back in with my pomade and I'm going to fix that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do with that same brush, I'm going to take this concealer and I'm going to drag it in a downward motion so that it can blend out. You just want to go in little short strokes the same way you would when you were filling in the middle of your brow. And you just want to drag that concealer downward. Be careful not to mess up the eyebrow or mess up the line that you have created with the concealer. And you just want to keep going in a downward motion. little short strokes until you feel like it's blended enough. Now I'm going to take a little fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to press that concealer into place. Take off any excess and just do a little further blending. Making sure not to touch the line that I have created for my eyebrows. Now, top of the brow, I'm going to use the foundation. So I'm just going to take a little bit of foundation. I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to go over the top of the brow. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to draw a line and then I'm going to blend it upward.
So again, I'm going to take that fluffy brush and I'm just going to press the product into place making sure that it is fully blended. You don't want to wipe or swipe back and forth because that's going to move your product. You literally want to press that product into place. So since I have dark eyes, I'm just adding a little bit of foundation around the eye for it to look more clean and more blended. So I'm going to do the same thing I did on my first brow, but you guys already know for this eye, I'm going to go slightly faster. So again, take some concealer, put it on your concealer brush and just trace underneath the eyebrow. Then you want to take the concealer and blend it out in a downward motion, short strokes. Again, just for that to look slightly more blended, I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow brush and I'm going to press the concealer into place. Again, I'm going to take that same concealer brush and I'm going to put a little bit of foundation on there. I'm going to do the same thing for the top. I'm going to blend in an upward motion with short strokes. Then, once again, I'm taking that same eyeshadow brush and I'm just blending all the ends out so that you won't have any harsh ends. Then, with whatever's left on the brush, I'm going to go upward in the middle of my brows. The reason why you don't want to take more concealer and go in the middle of your brows because that will also give you that harsh boxy effect in the middle of your eyebrows. Then you guys already know for me I have dark eyes so I'm just going to go in with a little bit of foundation and blend it down into my eyelids so that it looks a little bit more uniformed. And just to cover up that dark mark in the middle of my brows, I'm going to add a little bit more right there so it looks more clean.
sense, if you find that you've made a mistake and you do have that boxy effect in the beginning of your brow, all you can do is take a little bit of that conceal that's already there in the middle of your brow and blend it over the top of the beginning of your brows. And that'll fix that. Now, if you're like me and you have oily lids, you can just take a little bit of setting powder and just put that all around where you put the foundation and the concealer and that should lock all that oil right in. Now, if you wanna be extra and you wanna add a little bit of something, something under there, you can just go ahead with the highlighter, any highlighter, and just go right underneath the arch of your eyebrow. And then this would be the final look for your eyebrows and you're not gonna get it the first time you might not get it the second time or the third time that is okay makeup is a learning process it is a practice and remember guys your eyebrows are sisters they are not twins so they do not have to be perfect one eyebrow could be going up one eyebrow could be down one eyebrow might be longer than the other one eyebrow might be thicker than the other that is perfectly okay that's just how your eyebrows are okay like for example, mine are not perfect. One of my eyebrows is longer than the other one. I also had dark marks from previous acne on my forehead. So you know, nobody's eyebrows, nobody's skin is perfect. So don't beat yourself up, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell because I will be dropping my videos every Friday at 2 p.m., okay? Bye!